So once again, welcome on my new uh, video. It's been a long time that uh, I did not uh, make uh, videos because of uh, too much things that we are uh, preparing for our life. So as we all know that uh, one source of income is not enough for you to sustain your financial needs. So when you come at the time that you have already uh, find out the risk and uh, how to handle a one business, then you have to jump. You have to increase your knowledge to another business. I have always reminding everybody that uh, investing in knowledge is the first and the most important thing because the valuable thing now in the world is the information. If we are informed of what will happen to the future, and what will be the consequence then we can prepare okay so so let's see we will now discuss about candlestick and the chart psychology on the naked chart so for the beginners in trading if you see this kind of chart then it is quite what what do you feel when i was a beginner when i see this chart then all i can see is that this is very difficult yeah this is very difficult because it is very complex the sizes of the candles the sizes the sizes the movements are not so are not predictable so i realize how the traders can make money for this one okay but if you continue learning put the time on learning invest in your knowledge then this kind of chart or this kind of uh, appear what appears on the monitor is being is being discussed to your mind when you see it in your naked eye in a glimpse yeah because as you can see that for the beginner traders they they don't have the plan they don't have the strategy they don't have the, the money management and everything which is which is uh, will not contribute for the success of the trading begins when you are a beginner so when you don't want to lose any money for the investment of your knowledge and for the for the loss of some trades then you are not on the right path because as always said losing is the is losing is not the end of your life losing is the beginning of your true journey okay so as what we can see on the picture okay for the forex traders they are always looking at the big picture so now what we can see is that what we can see is that there is a big uh, downtrend yeah so there is a big downtrend we can make a channel here channel here and channel at the bottom so you you see very clear very clear that there is there is a downtrend okay so there is a downtrend and you can see after the movement of this candle there is what we call a breakout okay always remember that there is always a false breakout okay because normally what happened to the other traders is that when the candle reaches this level or this line of channel yes they will put the buy position they will put the long position so I expected that it will goes up but no for every new trend there is what we call a retracement there is what we call a testing so when the candle reaches this kind of line when this candle reaches kind of line which is the resistance level it breaks the resistance level and now we consider that the resistance level as a new support so what will happen it always tests the new support or the new uh, key level so what happens is that it goes up it goes up and what happened what happened it goes down it goes down yeah this is what we call a fake breakout this is what we call a fake breakout which i have to discuss on the next video and it it goes down it tests the new support level so there is a change of polarity what is the change of polarity this is the change of key levels so when the candle is here this is the resistance level this blue line 
So when it crosses, breaks the resistance level, it becomes a new support level because now it is below the new trend. Okay, so Forex trader can put their position right here and close their position right there. Yes, so for the Forex trader or for the traders, how can you determine the closing position? Okay, we can use a tool, let's say, uh, let's say we can use a tool like a Fibonacci line, Fibonacci, Fibonacci. Okay, how can you use this line? Okay, from the highest peak, okay, from the highest peak, which is here, which is here, the highest peak place the Fibonacci level there and place to the bottom for the highest high and the lowest low right there and you can see you can see that there is a line so 0 23.638.250 and 100 so what is the purpose of Fibonacci line because Fibonacci line this is what we call the pivot where the prices goes back or where the prices uh when the prices bounce bounce back okay so as you can see when we when we put the fibonacci level it reaches the 38.2 which is as you can see on the on the chart it reaches the 38.2 and bounce back you see it bounce back okay so you what what did you do you plot first the trend line and you see that there is a breakout but you are confused where to close your position Okay, because you put you put, you started here at 23.6, you put the uh, buy position. Okay, you put the buy, then you put the buy here. Then you are you don't know where to uh, stop the profit. Okay, when you stop the profit, you have to use Fibonacci line. Fibonacci line. This is the line that uh, that makes the that that uh, shows the pivot level. You see, you see from here when it reaches the 50 almost 50 then it goes down yes and it, it reaches this candle reaches a 23.6 it goes down so this is what we call um this these levels these are the where the candles retrace or where the candles goes back okay so when you when you put the position right here at the breakout at the retracement level so you can determine your stop profit you can take profit right here in 38.2 if you're a forex trader yes and you can you can take profit in the initial yes in the initial you can take profit here because you expect that this candle will reach this level and when 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 this uh, level breaks then you can you can add your take profit on the 50 but i have a tip to you that this Fibonacci level has a strong point. Okay, the strongest point is is the 61.8 and 100. Okay, you have to remember that 61.8 and 100. This is the very strong point where the candle goes back, where the candle reverses. So the maximum take profit level that you should do is on the 61.8. Yes, 61.8 because the most probably there will be a new trend once again okay on my next video i will talk about uh, fake breakouts followed by fibonacci tool okay so right now i'm just uh, making a candlestick and chart psychology that it's very useful so i have to remove this one for the meantime for the meantime i have to remove the fibonacci line so what you can see uh-huh what what you can see on the picture yes what you can see on the picture we are expecting a new trend why see we will write again we will draw again a trend line from here to there yes here to there and from the bottom from where is the here from from the bottom going up yes so as you can see as you can see the candle the candle has a higher higher highs and higher lows goes back and at it goes at it goes further the the space is getting in constriction okay getting in constriction expected you have to expect that you are 
you are on the downtrend you are on the downtrend as we write a while ago from here you are on the downtrend yeah major downtrend as you can see this you are in the major downtrend yes so you are in the major downtrend expect that your trend is your friend okay your trend is your friend so what happened is that when the, it goes down to the trend line there will be there is a consolidation what i mean is consolidation and there is a ranging market developing okay ranging market is what we call that the price bounce back on horizontal on horizontal uh, uh, size or horizontal position so when the candle bounce here here and right there and it goes uh, further until there is no space anymore expect that there is a breakout okay there there that there is a breakout happening okay but you are on the major downtrend so expect that it still goes down yes but because you see that you have you have a major key level right here yes because you you see the candle bounce back to the support level then it breaks through then after that it tests it tests again so this is the new resistance level now and goes back again right here right here so it tests again the resistance level so expect expect that right here that right here there is a false breakout and will test again this kind of resistance level and for sure it will goes down okay so this kind of explanation is uh, like a complex explanation this is uh, more applicable also for the forex trader where they put their positions in long term because uh, you know identifying the trend uh, knowing the history of the every candle and also uh, what we call is applying the price action is very important i always remind you that the best indicator is your brain there is no best indicator there is no base uh, there is no best strategy it is based on your emotion it is based on your risk tolerance it is based on your uh, what we call is patience so still the very important thing to learn in trading is your discipline okay so as you can see it goes it's uh, testing the testing the line the trend line here and for sure for sure it will goes back here and until it reaches at the at the point of vert vertex of the triangle then it will retrace back to this resistance level and goes down okay so now I hope that you get something from this video regarding the complex uh, explanation of the trading and uh, stay tuned keep liking keep subscribing on my channel for more uh, informative uh, videos that I should uh, impart to you as based on my experience once again thank you very much